world, this is WhatsApp 2090 here. Today I'll be showing you how to recover deleted files on Mac OS X and Windows somewhat for free. If you're you will need at least Mac OS X 10.6 to do this. And we're gonna be using this a free app that's called Ease US da Data Recovery Wizard, which you can get for both Mac and Windows from the link here, which will also be in the description. So once you've downloaded it and opened it, you'll get to something like this where you, you can select what file types you want to look for. And uh, I'm just going to select graphics for right now. And I'm going to click continue. But basically, these are the types of deleted files that it'll search for. Note, this won't, this might not, at least might not work if the file has been securely deleted. So keep that in mind. And this is on this screen. Basically, you want to select what drive or or a drive you want to um, search for. I'm going to select. You may get different results depending on which one you select, just to let you know. But I'm going to select this one here. If it doesn't come up with anything, then you might want to stop the scan and, uh, and uh, go try a different drive. I'm going to try selecting Macintosh HD. Click Scan. And as you can see, it's still not coming up with anything. So another thing you may want to try if it still doesn't come up with anything is uh, just force quitting the program and reopening it and then try, try and uh, widen your uh, file type search a little bit. I'm going to try that right now. Continue. And then I'm going to try selecting this one now. Sorry, I'm some trying to um, get everything, get this whole program down for you. It might take a while to start that in mind. I'm going to stop the video right now and let it go and uh, see what it comes up with. So once that process is completed, the scanning process, um, You'll want to um, select type and then select here what type of files you're looking for. By default, it will want to recover all of them. If so, if you don't, if you do want to recover all of them, just click recover. And then, uh, if you don't want to recover all of them, just unselect this and then select the one where you want to recover to. Now, you might want to try recovering to a USB drive because. It's not for sure can happen, but it might. There might. There it is possible that it might not be able to recover directly to your uh, hard direct hard drive properly. So if that doesn't work, try recovering to a USB drive. Okay. Another thing you can search for a certain file name up here, and if it doesn't find a certain file you want, you can try doing a deep scan, which will take a lot longer, but it'll come up with a lot more results. So yeah. I'm going to recover this file. To right here, click Save. And then it'll say Recovery Completed. Now, this is a bit of a doozy right here. You want to open the file, select Macintosh, and it's possible that you might have to. 
um, rename some files here. So if you come up to one that says Mac Keeper, go get info. And then uh, just uh, put name it to whatever you want. But you'll need to put the file name that shows up right here for that file. Click use whatever file name. And then open it, go to contents, plugins, and for anti-theft or whatever dot plugin it says, just name it to whatever you want, dot whatever file name. Click contents resources, and then there should be your file. So yeah, the the link the link to download this it's a bit of it's not the it's a bit of an inconvenience that you have to go through all that, but you know, that's kind of the trade-off with having a free app. So this is what's up two nine zero. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And what's up two nine zero here and uh, I'm signing off. Have a nice day.